Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope we're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. Now let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. So I've already pulled up the charms. Let's see what messages come through today. So in this reading, there, there's something a little different here, whoever this resonates for. You and your Divine Masculine, when you two were dating, you started to notice these, these habits or behaviors or changes within your Divine Masculine. And you didn't, it's like you didn't want to deal with that anymore or it's like you, you didn't want to, um, you didn't want to tolerate it. It's like you may have given this Divine Masculine multiple chances to improve or to change for the better, but they didn't do it. So what happened was, in this reading, I see it was Divine Feminine who broke away from Divine Masculine. You were the one who decided to separate from Divine Masculine in this reading. It looks like um, this Masculine, they were very um, confident that you would always be around. Uh, they took this Divine Feminine for granted. This Divine Masculine felt like once they once they were with Divine Feminine, like that's it. Like they thought that um, you would never leave them. You were um, devoted to them because you loved them so much. So they underestimated um, you, Divine Feminine. They thought that because you loved them so much that they could get away with certain types of behaviors or habits. But I see here that Divine Feminine, you stood your ground. You felt like there is no way to um, fix this situation because I think you tried here. I see here you tried to restore balance in the relationship, but it always um, didn't work out. So whatever you tried to do, like out of love, you did the best you could. I see here out of love, you tried your best to restore balance in your relationship with Divine Masculine, but they would not listen. They would not... Um, even try and I see here that it upset you and made you really sad um, You were you were pretty much struggling with with what was going on at the time with divine masculine It's like you didn't know what else to do and I see here that it came to the point of you were very exhausted You didn't want to um, continue the way things were going and then you decided to make this really tough decision uh, which was to um, separate or break away from Divine Masculine here. Divine Feminine, you stood your ground, you stood by what you believe in, what you feel, and you felt at the time that what Divine Masculine was not, what they were doing was not right. So you decided to um, break away. Masculine thought it was uh, not for real when you, when you said that you would leave or that you would separate from them. Uh, they thought that it was just like maybe a phase that it was just in the moment maybe you're just upset and and things would get better because I see that there were many times where you showed um, that you were not happy with what was going on and they thought that um, they thought that because in the past you you did forgive them for some things and they got used to that pattern so they never expected you to fully walk away but you did. So what happened after that? Um, I see your Divine Feminine it was not an easy thing to do, but you did it also for yourself because you knew you need to get back into balance for your your own self. Because I see here that there was a lot of things that um, felt very heavy in that space or in that place that you were with um, Divine Masculine, meaning that, that place in your relationship. Divine Feminine over time started to rebuild, grow, um, become stronger. Emotions became more like stronger, like you didn't feel as like sad anymore. Um, you started to become more confident in your decision and, and the choices you make. But Divine Masculine on the other hand, this thing happened, this thing that happened um, between you two, like the separation, you were able to work on yourself, but Divine Masculine, um, it propelled them into a different kind of, 
It's like they didn't let go of their habits or behaviors, but it, it propelled them in a totally different um, direction as well. So I'll explain what I see here. This masculine um, may have dated someone immediately after your separation. And if not, they, they did date somebody. I do see dating here. And what happened was it didn't happen... Um, it didn't happen as planned so like this masculine didn't just like search for somebody like something else happened so I'll explain masculine um, didn't know how to handle the emotions the sadness that came with the separation or the breakup so what they decide to do they want to kind of like it's like I show I'll show you divine feminine like that kind of thing so they started to transform themselves a bit and I see her when it comes to their appearance, their looks, their, um, some of them may have started to work out, like go to the gym, that kind of thing. And I see that there was a transformation, some sort of physical transformation. And what this did was it attracted a karmic uh, partner because masculine was already in that energy where they were not doing things to become better, but they were doing things to kind of prove a point. And it was coming from a place of, um anger so i see here that they were angry about the separation and they were sad about it as well and they didn't know how else to deal with it so the best thing they thought they could do was like i'll show divine feminine like who i am what they're missing that kind of thing and then when they transformed themselves um they they started to uh, attract somebody who had the same kind of like um energy at the time and I see her karmic partner uh, stepped into stepped into the picture this karmic partner is somebody who's who agrees to everything um, they are like yes 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 kind of person and divine masculine thought that this person really cares about them because they're listening to everything that they have to share or say and this person always agrees, so they feel like they are in a relationship where um, there's somebody who understands them, but they don't. This kind of person doesn't know anything about Divine Masculine. They're just there to be like that. Um, I feel like they like butter up Divine Masculine. They make Divine Masculine feel like that, that they're the best, that they're good for them, that kind of thing. Another thing I see here is that this masculine, they didn't really experience love outside of your relationship. So it doesn't matter who else they meet, doesn't matter who they're with, they haven't felt that kind of love that you gave to them. And even this karmic person, um, even though they say yes or agree a lot, masculine still feels like a lack and they get a little bit jealous too. There's jealousy here. Uh, masculine feeling jealous about Divine Feminine, um, meaning that they know that Divine Feminine is very different and the idea of someone else um, recognizing Divine Feminine for who they are, that makes them jealous. It's like they don't want someone else to notice you. They don't want somebody else to see you. And if you get a compliment or if somebody, you know, looks at you or glares at you or you know um, shows some sort of interest in divine feminine this will make divine masculine extremely jealous and that thought um, especially because they were not the ones who broke up right like you were the one that broke up with them and they feel like you would have been there all the time like they never thought you would leave and because of that they they feel like you're theirs but at the same time, they feel it's like okay for them to be dating this karmic person just because um, technically they feel like technically I'm single, so it's okay for me to be in a relationship. But when it comes to Divine Feminine, it's like they don't want to see you with anybody else. They avoid, um, I see in this reading, they avoid like things like social media. They avoid... Uh, things like um, people who are connected to divine feminine they don't want to know what's happening in your life because of that jealousy it's like the more that they know anything that they find out 
it will make them extremely jealous. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye everyone.